is everybody doing um this saturday i hope, hope you're all having a lovely weekend gosh i can't get my words out today um i've got a few um things to show you things that i haven't i haven't made things have either been sent or have bought um i've definitely got a um a etsy and an ebay haul to show you and where i had um my recent trims from because they are absolutely stunning anyway this had to come first above all else because i was so so excited when this came through the door i've there was no address on the back so i don't didn't know who it was from and i've opened it up and i've seen the card and that's as far as i've got and i thought no don't open anything else put it away until you film it so this is what i've done this came this morning this is my first entry into my challenge oh wow oh my days that's amazing to start off with um and i'm gonna open it with you ladies and it's while i'm opening it it's from a lovely lady who is just setting up on her youtube journey and she is an absolutely amazing crafter i will read you what she's put in the card in a second um and I love watching it because she gives so much inspiration. And who am I on about? I'm on about um, Sarah. She's called Sarah's Shabby Chic Creations. And I've been hooked onto her channel ever since I found her. She makes the most beautiful dream catchers. Absolutely stunning. She makes them out of embroidery hoops. Now, Sarah's quite freely said, it's not my idea. It's just something I've seen and I've put my own spell on it. But needless to say, they are stunning. So, she wanted to join my challenge. Um, she's never joined challenges as of such. So I was like, oh, of course you can join my challenge. So, um, yeah, let's have a look what Sarah's been up to. I was so excited when she said she was joining in. Okay, first of all, oh, wow, cupcakes cupcakes definitely sarah you've got all my favorite colors in there pinks roses i absolutely love that and it's on an old um 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 what, what what can i call that an old tea tea cup stand tea cup cake stand you know what i mean but yes i absolutely adore the card now there is sarah's address in here um, so I'll just read you out the message. She says, hi Colette, thank you for letting me take part. You're very welcome, my sweetheart. Hopefully the snippet scraps are okay. So she's made, um, the challenge was to make two flowers and then two things that could go inside the journal. But one of those things could be um, a snippet scrap. So I could cut it up and put it on the pages. I've not done these before. You can also trim the dark colour down on the flower if it's too dark. Wishing you lots of luck with your challenge. Kind regards, Sarah's, Sarah's Shabby Chic Creations. Now, I will put Sarah's um, YouTube link in the description bar for you to go and check her out. Like I say, she's an immense crafter. So, I can't wait. And she did a video not, um, not so long back, actually, where she was showing her handmade flowers. Oh wow, oh Sarah, look what you've been up to. Right, first of all, let's see. She's made, oh wow. Oh look Sarah, I'm not taking the dark off that. That is stunning. She, she's made, I don't even know what she's made. I, I think that's either, that's silk, that feels so good. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing because... Sarah's work definitely deserves to be zoom, zoomed in. And then she's got like different layers. That's like a tool effect, a lace layer, another tool, um, like a lacy kind of fabric, another sort of tool fabric. And then she's put a little mini one in and she's sewn this all together. It's hand stitched, look. So it's not going to fall apart. Oh, no, that is beautiful. I am not taking that dark colour off. I think it matches perfectly with the beads that you've put in. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, sweetheart. And then she's made another flower. Um, this flower, I haven't seen one of these on her video, but I have seen one of these. Um, 
and she's made it out of it's like a muslin type of material I'm sure that's like muslin and then the pink lace and that's like a, um, a country rose kind of lace that's really really nice um some more lace backed underneath a little applique and a bling center how beautiful and fluffy is that oh wow sarah that's beautiful those flowers are absolutely stunning it's going to be hard to choose when to give to the winner um because they are both stunning and we're so I'm going to have such a hard job to pick you one but they are absolutely stunning so let's see this is a snippet scrap so um six six inches um was goes to the winner and six inches of course um oh wow look at that so if i don't use all this, if you ladies make slip scraps and i don't use them it goes into the pot so half of this will be for the winners wow look at this one she's got like lace and fabric i like the feel of that and she's got two like um it's not two it's like oh it's not two but i know what i'm trying to say it's not two it doesn't feel two and then she's got more like um lace shoe. and i love the fact on each piece just looking at this one at the moment but on each piece it's frayed on the edges to give you that shabby look and i love the colors because that's one thing i forgot to mention in my video or uh, was the colors and the style either had to be shabby chic or vintage you any style because m most of you ladies like that um style so that's what style the journal will be in oh wow look at these i love that fabric i don't know why i recognize it so much did you have birds on sarah was it blue and had birds on so i think i'm not sure but look she's layered it how cool is this and then she's got more like more lace on top and then more snippets like you say each piece is frayed this is like um oh it feels almost like um, a flannel it's that sort of softness to it and there's more lace and some ribbon and on all those pieces of fabric they're all frayed oh so that's beautiful absolutely gorgeous so there's the first piece and then the second piece is a little, I think it is different. Let me see. I don't want to get these up the way. So you've got lace and like a, um, see the silk or chiffon at the top, like a mocha colour. More, more um, ribbon, but she's, like I say, she's frayed the edges. So in all these pieces, they're all frayed that fabric is the same fabric here that's the same fabric you guys see without my fingers being in the way let me show you so you're looking at that fabric being the same I'm sure that's the same fabric and then she's got more that feels like like i say it's stiffer than two, but it can fray on the edges. I wonder what type of material that is. More lace. Um, more of this um, soft cotton type of fabric. Some tool on top of that. Some lace underneath. She's layered and layered and layered. And satin. Satin or silk. You can see the satin or silk. And I love this colour. More lace and like um again that that's satin that is that bit there satin i'm trying to work out what fabrics they are i love that sarah i absolutely love that it's like a green effect when you look at it close and you see how it's got lines going through that some more lace some more type of cotton material underneath more like vintage material there some more like um 
satin but she's again she's frayed the edges to give it that shabby look more lace a little snippet of lace there and some more fabrics and both of these are looks to me she's used clear clear um oh gosh sorry must have been there for ages doing this i hate using that type of cotton this is um the real clear it's not cotton i don't know what they call it but it's um it's clear and it's really hard to work with because when you knot it you can't see where you've tied it but it's crystal clear and she's hand sewn that by hand and she's gone all the way down with that so she must have so much work has gone into this I take my hat off to you because i can i can never sew with that i find it so infuriating because you can never see where you're going and she's done the same on this look i forget what they call it it's like a, it's not cotton but you guys know what i mean you know what i mean it's beautiful so she's all hand sewn this if i can cut it that is absolutely exquisite thank you so much sweetheart for your my, your entry into my challenge um i absolutely love your snippet snippets um i was going to say rolls them but they're not rolls but snippet laces i'll call them um and yeah for sure i can cut them up and you reuse them and i will be not taking any dark bits off anything i think they're beautiful and you've done a fantastic job and i can see the idea is that i'll cut up and i'll use it at the end of a page or and i'll do it like that but i really I, that is just beautiful for your first time making those um snippet laces they that is just absolutely stunning i love your flowers you know how much i adore your flowers so please check sarah's um channel out she's called sarah's shabby chic creations um i leave a link in the description bar below and um she's also got her own challenge going so go and pop on over and check her own challenge out um like i say she's she's an amazing crafter and i'm so glad and lucky and blessed to have found her on youtube because um youtube is such a big pond and yeah i'm just blessed that i found sarah because she makes the most beautiful things and i am so honored that now i have owned a piece of her work that is amazing thank you so much sweetheart i'm gonna um email you in a bit in a second and uh yeah please leave sarah some love and comments below she will read them um and so will i and until next time until my next video take care have a lovely rest of the week wherever you are and i'll catch up with you in my next video thank you so much sarah thank you everybody for watching bye for now